A home was destroyed in an early morning fire in Marlowe, and fire officials say it belonged to Charles Dyer, the man accused of raping a six-year-old girl. His retrial on that charge is scheduled for this Monday. His first trial back in April ended in a mistrial. The jury was unable to reach a verdict in that one, and they had deliberated for eight hours after hearing four days of testimony. And they appeared to have reached a verdict, but one juror changed his mind on the way to the courtroom. So the foreman told the judge they were deadlocked. 7 News reporter Sylvia Corkill joins us now in the newsroom with more on this strange turn of events. Sylvia, was Dyer at home when this house caught fire? Fire officials tell me he was not there when his house caught fire around 4 this morning. In fact, they say Dyer was only renting the trailer home. The owner lives next door. He's the one who saw the fire and called it in. According to the Bray assistant fire chief, no one was injured during the fire, but at first no one was sure if anyone, including Dyer himself, was still inside. What was once a home is now only a pile of charred rubble. The roof had already collapsed. It was fully engulfed. That's what Bray Assistant Fire Chief Brian Gensmer saw when he first arrived. And he wasn't sure what to expect. There were no vehicles around, and typically, I guess there was a motorcycle parked on the front porch. A motorcycle that was said to belong to Charles Dyer. Fire officials were told he could still be inside. We moved part of the roof and searched around in cubby holes and stuff like that, but we didn't see him. But then... Luckily, he showed up later. He seemed very distraught. Moments later, Gensmer says Dyer's family showed up. Uh, they met him there, and, you know, they just kind of embraced to say, thank God he's alive. As for how the fire started is still unknown. It was too far gone for me to determine. Gensmer says the fire burned for over three hours and that there was very little left behind. He says most likely the state fire marshal will be called in to investigate. Back to you. And as for Dyer's retrial on the sexual abuse charge, we were unable to reach the district attorney for comment on whether it might be delayed in light of the fire. At this point, jury selection is scheduled to begin Monday morning.